the hit of the summer anime is back with another episode and because it's back that means your boy is back <clears throat> this is a review of a honey bottle episode 2 I'm your host Juju the gamer here and it's and I'm glad to be back so last week we basically saw the background information on why the Batman club was diminishing the struggles of trying to recruit new members and retain their own members as well um, we also found that they have a new coach and a potential all-star member in Ayano, who's still very reluctant on playing Batman. So, without further ado, let's get into the episode. I'm going to start off this review by recapping the episode. Um, this episode starts right off after the last episode. As you know, we saw Ayano and and Aligaki, you know, getting ready to do the practice match, their practice match, and that's how this episode started. The opening scene of this anime was them two, you know, going at it. So, and at this point, Nagisa is getting concerned because he's losing 8-3. to three. She's losing 8-3. to three, Much like, or at least this time she scored. Because the last time she faced her, she got blown out and it was just terrible all around. So, while they're, you know, facing this match, and when she scores her next point, it's now 8-4. to four. Hanasaki, it, it kind of shows like a flashback of her mother. You know, that there might be a potential tragedy there is why she lost her love for Batman. And so because she saw this flashback, um, she basically just stopped playing. She was like, I'm done. I'm done. So she was done. But to her shock, Elena basically told her that she wants to join the club, not as an official member, but as the team manager. So after the open scene, Rico and Nagisa are still, you know, working hard. They're still practicing. And that's when the coach comes in and he wants everyone to split up, you know, so they can start doing their practice matches. He pairs up Nagisa and Hanasaki again, only to point blank ask Hanasaki, why did she stop playing badminton the first time? She kind of, you know, just kind of looked away. He asked her again, why did you stop playing? She was basically saved from answering as he, as the coach basically went on the rail and said, you could potentially become an all-star. You have the talent to not only win nationals, but to go to the Olympics and compete. So she was kind of saved from him having to answer that question. We get to the boys match where the elder Isahara on the team wins 21-15. to Rico and Nagisa, you know, themselves faced a tough match only for Rico to lose 21-19. Nagisa is still troubled by the fact that she lost to Hanasaki and is doubting herself. I'm going to repeat that. She's doubting herself. That is the whole key to this episode is restoring her confidence and how she feels like she can't really compete like she wants to now that Hanasaki's on the team. And she's, she's basically been troubled these very first two episodes. So meanwhile, we see you talking to, you know, some of the members who quit the team. And now we're back at the gym. That's a common thing. We're, before they start these official matches they're eventually going to be playing, we're showing the hard work. We're showing the dirt. We're showing them practicing. So there's a team drill that Hanasaki and Nagisa are doing and, you know, running doubles. And so during this movement drill, they keep crashing into each other. Which, you know, causes a mini argument showing that the chemistry between the two is not all the way there. Um, the coach figures out that, that Nagisa is not looking around her and she's too fixated on her special move. Which is point blank shown to her when he basically sets her off to the side and has Rico step in and have her watch. But Nagisa unfortunately takes this the wrong way. Stating that, okay, because I may not have all the talent in the world, you want to coddle her. She clearly did not learn from the example. So this is in the locker room. Everyone has kind of left. Uh, you has also left. Um, and Nagisa basically asked Rico point blank, did she go easy on her? Because she realized that in the practice match, she could have taken advantage when she kind of, you know, put the badman ball in the wrong spot. Which would have been perfect for Rico to take, you know, take a point. Could have tied the game. Um, Rico surprisingly did not dispute her claim, and this just further points out that the team has way more internal problems than they really need to. 
Um, and it's getting to a point that, you know, the chemistry is not all the way there. And because of this, I'm fearing that they're not going to meet their coach's big expectations because he wants them to not only win nationals, but he wants somebody on that team to go to the Olympics. It also points out in this part of the episode that Nagisa herself is kind of, her anger and her frustration is just lashing out at everybody. She's lashing out at everybody because she's, you know, she's in a slump. She's lashing out. And she gets into it with the upperclassmen again, only for the upperclassmen saying that she envied her all this time because she's showing that she truly loves Batman. This is the next day of practice. The coach basically asked Nagisa for a match. You know, at first she was refused, and he was like, oh, so you're afraid to face me. It's like, first to 21 wins. So as the match is going on, the coach is starting to figure out exactly where her slump is and how to make her realize her slump. And at the end of the match, the coach says not only does she need to put more faith in herself in Batman, but because she's tall, she needs to work out her legs more. And at this point, he kind of like restored her confidence. He kind of restored her confidence in herself and she was able to perform much better. So at the end of the episode, Nagisa is apologizing to the rest of the team about her attitude and how Rico... She's basically apologizing for everything that she's done. And that's pretty much it. She's apologizing for how she treated everybody, how mean she was, how she ran the team into the ground. And she's, you know, she's very repentful. And Rico, at this point, say, you know, it's their last chance to really do something big in Batman together as a team. And so they they themselves decided as a goal that they wanted to reach the inner high prelims and not only reach it, but win it. They want to win the, in, the inter high preliminaries. And, and that's their goal as their last season. Soon, the rest of the team join hands, even though Elena shoves Ayano in the back to make her join the group. So that's basically the recap of episode two. Now, I'm not going to lie. I love this episode. The animation was on point once again. The animation in this anime itself is top notch. And and I'm kind of worried because if the anime could... If the animation itself continues like this, I just want to know how are they going to keep, you know, the matches up to par that they have already done with this anime? Are they going to keep the matches up? Is their animation quality going to stay the same throughout? If it does, bravo, because this is a well, fantastic job. This is a well done job by this studio. It really is. Um... I do like how the character relationships have improved in this episode because it seems that Rico and Nagisa's um, relationship between the two best friends soared. Um, you know, Rico was kind of feeling sorry for Nagisa after what happened, but once he, but once Nagisa figured out that she wasn't wrong, and and now that her confidence was restored because of the coach. She's back to normal. And with them setting the goal of trying to become inter-high preliminary champions at this meet, it also points out that they're probably going to be facing very tough opponents, and which means this anime has potential to probably be 24 episodes. I hope it is. I hope it is, because if this is 12 episodes, I have a feeling it's going to be rushed, and I do not want that to happen. Um, overall, this episode was really good. It once again it laid the groundwork. It laid the groundwork for what's to come in this anime. Because now I got a feeling that um, now I got a feeling that because all the training and stuff is probably going to stop soon, and that we're probably gonna like either time skip to the inter high prelims, and it's gonna be on and cracking. We're going to be seeing matches after matches after matches after matches. So I'm interested to see what direction they take. They're still going to be showing, you know, training, you know, qualifying for the inter high prelims, the inter high prelims themselves, and then the final match of the inter high prelims. So I'm just, you know, I'm kind of just looking forward to see what they do with the rest of this episode. But overall, this episode was really well done. It really was. 
and I, and I really want to know what your thoughts are about this episode in the comment section below. If you made it this far, leave a like and comment how many blasts that subscribe button for me. Thank you all for watching. This is Juju the Gamer. I'm signing out. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye.